Is your helium hotspot secure today? We're about to let you know if it is or not. Let's get into it. <laughs> Online tipsters back in the building, Ooh. and we keep getting asked the same question. Yo, Heem, hold, hold on, Heem, Heem, hold on, Heem, hold on, hold on, y'all. First, guys, do us a favor hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and give us a like. We really would appreciate it. All right, brother, we got it. <laughs> so, we keep getting asked the same question over and over Is your helium hotspot secure? And we're here to tell you, yes, it is. So I'm just going to run a few facts down for you just to give you some security on why your helium hotspot is secure. So we're here at the frequently asked questions. If you want to get to this uh, site, all you'll do is go to, um, you'll just Google in helium security, or you can just go ahead and go to docs dot helium dot com slash facts slash uh slash security right we'll have um, it in the so description we'll have it in the description. we'll have it in the description for you so you can go there and check it out um but just to run this down to you right the security of the network and hotspot owners is the utmost important to us while the internet connection is necessary it is only used to provide backhaul to the hotspot for blockchain peer-to-peer -peer and long fi networking. As security concerns are ever present, here is what we have done and are doing to combat these potential risks. The most common attack vector to get into a device like the hotspot in, is inbound ports. The Helium hotspot only requires one port open in both directions. TCP port 44158. All other inbound ports can be secured by a firewall per your personal security needs, right? So when you guys hook this up to your Wi-Fi, your firewall is really going to protect you from any outbound hackers, right? So Helium enabled low rod WAN devices are hardware secured to protect the traffic from the utilized spectrum this means the security is built in since devices using the network have a AES private key encryption at the chip level. All approved Helium hotspots comply with the relevant radio and wireless regulations in the country or region where they are deployed. So it's they're, they're covering wherever this is going to be deployed. For example, hotspots in the U.S. comply with the FCC regulations for operating in the unlicensed 902-928 megahertz spectrum. The CE mark for the European is 868 megahertz spectrum, et cetera. Expected bandwidth utilizes by devices is one to five kilobytes, about the size of a long text message and devices communicate with the hotspot over long five, not IP internet protocol. That's huge, right? Because just for me, um, actually uh, being in IT for nine years and actually taking the exam for, for ethical hacking, um, it being uh, uh, used over long five and not the IP, like an IP address, really, really lessens your chances of being, of your box being hacked, right? And while very inexpensive to use, the Helium network is not free. Any transaction requires data credits. This is inherently a deterrent for potential scammers. Helium wallets included within the Helium app use asymmetric keys to keep your private key secure. We will, we, and this is just a note um, from Helium. We will be diligent in our approach in main, to maintaining and improving all aspects of network's security to help ensure that you, the people who constitute the people's network can continue to help define a new era of internet of things or IOT. And then you can always um, come to this site and touch on some of these other, um, some of these other uh, um, uh, links here, but this was the main one that we wanted to cover it just because we, we simply keep getting asked, can this be hacked? Is it secure? So we wanted to show you guys where you could actually find the information 
and then just give you a little um just give you a little bit of um you know just ease your ease your heart a little bit um and, and get you get you, get you some clarification on if these things can be hacked or not and from what we found the research that we've done and all of the people as including ourselves that we know that actually have minors they haven't really experienced any security breaches um with their minor or hacks into their own wi-fi system so there it is hey i w w with that being said i i think you're more likely to get hacked through your cell phone or xbox or playstation or something <laughs> so i won't worry exactly. about your minor or i'm sorry your hot spot getting hacked so exactly just just make sure you have your firewall on um you know when you when you connect your device and you'll be good to go so just wanted to share that with y'all don't forget hit subscribe hit the bell so that you can get notified anytime we upload new videos for your pleasure all right online tips is out y'all peace, peace.